Hey DIYers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking radon gas systems and we are going to convert our passive system to an active system. And in today's video, we wanna show you the before and after walkthrough videos to get you more familiar with the differences. Let's take a look. All right, YouTubers, downstairs in the basement now and this is where your radon system begins. Let's go into the utility room and we have our furnace, we have our water heater and down in that sump pump circular cutout is your sump pump. And you've got two pipes that come out. The smaller diameter pipe is connected to your lower sump pump and your sump pump drives water up and out of your house. The second pipe is a larger pipe, in most cases three to four inches in diameter, and that is your radon pipe as it is labeled here for us. And it continues up to the ceiling and makes a turn and rides the ceiling. However, before we move on any further, you will notice there is no pressure gauge anywhere from where it comes out of the sump pump chamber and all the way up to the ceiling. And that tells us we have a passive system or passive install. And that's not a bad thing. However, it is more inefficient than an active system. However, the system is still installed, it's still here, and it's still working. But your first indication that tells you if you have a passive or active system is that pressure gauge. And again, as you can see, we do not have it, so we have a passive system. We are going to continue traveling the plumbing. It rides the ceiling, and let's continue up here across that beam, and then it makes a 90 degree angle turn and heads straight up through the floor. And in most cases for code, that pipe goes directly straight up and out of your roof where it exhausts the radon gases. So from here, I wanna take you into our attic where an actual fan would be installed. However, again, we have a passive install system, so it will not have an active fan, but I still wanna show you the plumbing. And before we head upstairs and continue our journey with the system, I do want to point out one thing. You can see this cover is a solid black cover and unfortunately it is not sealed. Let me put a flashlight on it right quick. See that large gap? That would not pass inspection in the event that this was an active system install. However, since it is a passive install, basically that is okay. But the new system will have a completely different cap. All right, YouTubers, in the upstairs bedroom closet now, and there's our attic access point. And this may be your only access point. However, in the event that you have a garage on the same side of the house as your radon pipe is down in your basement, Basement, you may have access to your radon pipe up in the attic from the upstairs loft portion above your garage. That's if you have one. In our case, we do, and believe it or not, we can gain better access to the plumbing to the radon pipe through the upstairs loft of our garage. However, I did want to show you this access point because in the event that this is your only access point, you are going to lift that internal cover up and shift it to the side and carefully continue climbing up your ladder and into the attic and you can look around with a flashlight or maybe you have a light switch right there and you can locate your radon pipe. And in the event that you are going to convert your system from a passive system to an active system, the licensed contractor will need to climb up there and gain access to that pipe to install the fan. However, again, we have better access to the radon pipe from our upstairs loft in the garage, so we are going to head out there now and show you. Outside in the garage now and we're going to pull down that access door. Making progress and this carefully just shifts down and we'll rest on the floor. And hopefully you have a light switch at a friendly location as we do. And here it is, your upstairs locked. And YouTubers, be extremely careful as you maneuver in the upstairs portion of your loft. Again, that is wide open drywall in the event that I stepped and put my weight on that drywall, chances are I would go straight through it. So only step on the plywood. And continuing over to where our pipe is, I will shine my light in this area. You've got a bunch of insulation over there on the ground and on the wall there. If you can look, all the way back there, you can see a radon pipe. Let me scroll in slightly. Right back there, you see that white pipe? That is our radon pipe. And as you can see, there is no fan installed on it whatsoever. So what's gonna happen when the contractor or licensed company comes out here to install the fan, they are going to need access to this point. And they may bring their own plywood or stepping platform to put on the drywall here so they do not damage anything. So the next thing I want to do, again, give you another view of the pipe itself. 
and that continues up above and out of the roof. Let's go outside and take a look. All right, YouTubers outside, and again, make sure you're on the same side of the house as you were down below in your basement where your sump pump and radon pipe come out of the ground, as well as the same side as you were up in your attic. And I'll scroll in, you see that white exhaust pipe coming out of the ceiling just to the right of that dish? That is your radon exhaust pipe. So with that said, at this point, YouTubers, we know what a passive install radon system looks like, and from here, they are going to be coming out here in a few days to install the brand new active system, and we will show you the results. We'll see you in a few days. Back downstairs to the basement, just finished up vacuuming after they left, and what I'm going to do is let's start with the cap itself. Check that out. You remember what the old one looked like? It was solid black, you could not see through, and check this out. The flashlight right there. Now you can see everything down in the chamber. You can see your drain tiles, you got one here, and you should have an additional one right here. And during the project, I went ahead and had them install a brand new sump pump just because they were going to seal this cap. As you can see, that silicone bead around the entire portion of the cap, as well as the sump pump pipe and the radon pipe and additional cuts they had to make to position this cap in place. And that silicone bead is to create that airtight seal. Now take a look at this right here. This is a safety feature in the event that your cap gathers water on top of it. Whether it's a leak from your fittings in your sump pump plumbing or the fittings at your check valve, any water that gets on this cap will make its way over to this hole here. And inside that hole, once water goes in it and applies pressure, that valve will open and allow the water to fall down inside the chamber. Once water is no longer on top of that bottom portion of the valve, that valve is spring-loaded back to the closed position to create that airtight seal, not allowing any radon gas out of that cap, which is pretty neat. Now let's take a look at the pipe itself. Can you hear the difference? The fan is working and there is suction inside that pipe. And continuing up, let's take a look up here. We have our brand new gauge installed and as you can see here, radon reduction system, do not tamper with or disconnect. And there is always going to be a difference in fluid levels. And that is to verify that your fan is properly working. In the event that these two were level, that means your fan has failed or it's unplugged and not working or not turned on. Estimated cost is $30 per year, which is pretty cheap for this system. After they installed this gauge, they went ahead and drilled into the radon pipe and that is where the pressure gauge gets its reading from the fan. So pretty impressive. And again, that is the after results from converting the passive system into an active system. From here, let's head out to the garage, go upstairs in the loft and take a look at the new fan. Our YouTubers upstairs in the attic now and let's carefully maneuver over to the fan. About halfway to the fan, they installed a brand new circuit box for the electrical system for the fan. And as you can see, it's titled Radon Reduction System Do Not Tamper With or Disconnect. Let's continue over to that fan. All right, here we are at the fan and the original pipe that comes up through the ceiling and walls. They actually had to add connection points to turn it away from the beam because of the size of the fan would not sit flush with that piece of wood there. And then they added additional parts at the top of the fan to feed it back into the original pipe that is connected to that board. And the exhaust goes through the plywood ceiling there and out on top of your house. However, it's very quiet, believe it or not. You can hear it right now. And on the side, you've got arrows which show the airflow and rotation of the fan. In addition, you've got rubber hose connections with clamps that secure it to create that airtight seal to alleviate any radon gases from escaping that plumbing and getting into the attic and the house. So, again, Pretty impressive and definitely recommended in the event that you have high radon levels inside your home. Next thing I want to do is take you back outside and show you the exhaust. All right, YouTubers outside, and as you can see, there is the exhaust pipe. There really is no difference whatsoever with it now compared to what it was prior to the conversion. However, I will say during the install of the fan up in the attic, the technician made one cut and then he pushed the pipe up and out of that rubber seal that goes in your shingles. And once he did that, the pipe itself stuck three to four feet out of the roof which kind of looked a little odd so I asked him if that was new code he said no and I then asked if it wasn't too much trouble if he could cut the pipe down to one foot and that's what he did so right here is the cut pipe that was all the way up on the ceiling that he pushed up and that is a two-foot pipe so that's going in the garbage so 
Hopefully this helps YouTubers. Now we know the before and after results of the passive system being converted to an active system. From here, do us a favor below the video. You'll see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely ring your YouTube bell. That would be very helpful to us and we would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching.